Hey, howdy and hi everybody. It's Crackers. Welcome back to the Iron Mine server here on the Crystal Isles modded map. It is raining, of course. As soon as I hit record, it rains. So here I am, perched on one of my pl my plenty of platforms, for sure. I meant to say my many platforms. And I've been giving this place a lot of thought. So I actually kind of started recording this already, but my computer crashed and I lost the recording. So I've kind of got a start on it, but I thought I'd bring you guys back and kind of just show you what I've done. So when I started thinking about this place, our giant tree and all these platforms, and I'm like, what am I gonna put on all these platforms? And I still don't know entirely. But when I think of a big giant tree, it reminds me of birds. And when I think of birds, I think about bird houses. So that brings us today to an idea I have. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna build a bunch of bird houses on some of these platforms. Not all of them, but I thought that would be really cute. And since we had kind of the water theme going on Olympus, uh, I thought, you know, this could be sort of an air theme. So I was thinking that we should have nothing on this tree that can't get up here on their own without the aid of like zip lines or whatever. So unless they're shoulder pets and can ride on my shoulder, but you know, like things like the Gigano who couldn't possibly get up here on their own or the Anki, those guys all have to stay on the bottom and this is gonna be all air-based. So that brings me to what I was gonna work on today, which was an idea I'm really excited about. And that is, um, because I'm going to have a birdhouse. I, I oh, not a bird, yeah, a birdhouse. I'm going to build a birdhouse on this platform and it's going to double as my sort of warehouse. And then I thought I would make like a birdhouse to live in, kind of in the tree over there. So I, but I thought what would be really cool too, gosh, I don't even know if you could hear me over this thunder. Um, and I've fallen off this tree so many times trying to do this, so I'm a little terrified right now. Can you can you back up, buddy? No, you can't. Okay. Um, what I was also thinking was I think it would be really really cool to hang a bird cage. Oh my gosh! To hang a bird cage from the tree, and I was thinking of doing that from on this branch over here. So that's what I kind of got started and recorded, and then my Peter crash and I lost everything um, so basically what I did is I I kind of got a starting point going with a triangle foundation and then I put a triangle ceiling down and then I started going down with walls all the way down so the reason like I'm gonna have to have <gasps> oh god that scared me sorry <laughs> I didn't mean to jump off my bird. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just going to take off and show you what I did down here. Oh God, that scared the crap out of me. So anyway, I had started with a fence foundation, a triangle one, or not a fence foundation. I started with a triangle foundation and I embedded it in the tree. And then I took that triangle ceiling and branched off from the foundation. And then I started building walls down from it so basically why i want that triangle ceiling there is i need a place to anchor an anchor chain because what i want this cage to look like is i want it to look like it's hanging from the tree on a chain so the anchor unfortunately i don't even think i have one on me at the moment no i left it in my bin down below but it has to attach to the side of a, a ceiling or something. So, um, so I need to have like something here for it to anchor to. And I wanted the anchor chain to eventually end up in the middle of my build down below because it's going to have a bit of a peaked ceiling. So anyway, the only problem is the anchor attaches to the middle of the ceiling. So. I'm going to have to finagle this afterwards to try and get the chain to come close to the very tip of that triangle. But basically what I did is I ran ceilings all the way down to a height that I was happy with. 
which was right about here because I want to be able to see it from my birdhouse that's going to be over there eventually. Um, so once I got to a height that I was happy with, I started to branch off with the triangle ceilings again so that the middle of this is going to match the middle of that triangle piece up there so that I know whereabouts to attach the anchor after. Anyway, that is where I'm at right now. I, oh, this makes me so nervous. Oh God, I knew that was going to happen. Oh, okay, I'll meet you guys back up there. All right, I'm back up here. <laughs> Let's do this a smarter way this time. Oh my God. I swear my heart leaves my chest every time I fall off this thing and it's happened many times already. Okay, let's get some of these pieces in. Um, okay, can I jump off this thing without dying now? Oh God, okay, 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 we did it, we did it! Uh, okay, so I gotta fill in the gaps here. So this little bird cage is going to be probably about this big actually. Um, so now I can remove this. It always makes me nervous. Okay, good. Okay, so now I can get rid of all these walls all the way up, but I'm not gonna do that like all right now. Um, I'll just get rid of a few of them. All right, so let me put some of these away so it lightens my load. And let's get some of these on my hot bar. Okay, so I thought about what materials to use for this and I was thinking about the Eco Stables because it has that kind of graded metal thing and I thought that would be cool for birdcage. Um, but I also kind of wanted to try out the advanced thatch mod that we have and they have a very cagey looking wall which is like this. The only problem is the sloped triangle ceilings um, that I want to make the peaked roof won't snap to the top of them. So I'm gonna have to use something else. I decided I'm gonna use railings. Um, now, because I'm gonna have to have railings along the top for the sloped ceilings to attach to, I thought I would put them along the bottom so that it kind of matched but I'm looking at this now and there's a huge gap and I'm not sure that I'm that happy with it. Hmm. Um, because you know how bird cages, they have sort of that tray and I thought that would be kind of cool. I think that would be cool. So I'm going to extend this out one more time, but I think the cage itself is only going to be this big. Um, but I am going to have a lip on the outside. So I'm going to build like this out one more time time so that I have somewhere to land when I when I come out here. Now I'm just thinking if this is sort of like a tree thing I could I actually could put this up here and it would help block that gap. That might be kind of cool and that could be the extra lip going around. Yeah actually let's do that. So then I could go around with these all the way and then the door will be sort of at a level that we can reach it from the outsides too. So that would actually be good because I wanted to use the door from this mod. So my bird host is over there. So I'm thinking that the door could go here. Yeah, that could open. We'll have this little lip out here that'll kind of close in that gap and hide it and then we'll build all the way around with the triangles and squares for that extra little lip okay that should work out okay so what I'm gonna um, what I'm gonna do is just keep going all the way around and I think yeah we'll switch all of these to half walls because I don't want them to look like railings all right so we need a few more railings here and that should do that. And then we'll keep going up with these things until it's high enough that I like it. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Well, 
This is gonna look cute. Okay. Are you excited about the birdcage too? Was that, that what that squawk was all about? Of course, I'm gonna leave the door open. They're gonna be free to come and go. They're gonna wanna stay because, you know, but I'm not gonna keep them caged. They have all this beautiful lush greenery to fly around in and then they can come back here. Okay, so if we have this all the way around, that'll be good. And then we'll keep building this all the way up. I'm not sure how high I want it, so we'll have a look. And then what I'll probably do is just keep building up until I'm happy with it. But I want it to have sort of a rounded top. That's why I want to do the sloped triangles and stuff. So I think I want it just a little bit higher. I want to be able to see it from this ledge. Yeah, so I want it to be kind of, yeah, probably at least a couple more, Probably a couple more higher is what I'm thinking. So I am going to keep doing that. Um, I gotta pick up a few more pieces here because I'm, oh, or actually maybe I do have a couple pieces on me here. Yeah, I have these and I have some of these. So I'm gonna continue with the little lip going around and that way we'll have somewhere to land. Hopefully this will look okay. Oh, I brought sloped, oops. Yeah, I think that should be all right. If we go all the way around one more time, have that little lip. Yeah, and that bottom part looks like the little tray off of a bird cage. Okay, I think that should be good, guys. I got to um, grab a few more pieces and then I'll build up those layers a couple more high and I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, I think I have all the pieces put on as high as I want. And I've actually made a quick little change here. I decided that I was, oh, geez, I can't even see here. I decided I was going to um, put a few more door frames in here to make it look like there's little holes for the birds to get out. And then I thought maybe what we could do is, I am really overburdened right now. I just took down all the ceilings that lead up to the top there. Um, okay, ooh, I can barely move. So what I was thinking of doing was actually putting like little catwalks up. Um, I don't know if I can get out because I'm too heavy, but I thought, uh, I don't know if I can get it without being on the outside. So. Let's just uh, actually go up to the top and we'll finish with the final layer, which is the railings, which I'm probably going to have to grapple up there and change all the, yeah, I'll have to go up there and change them all to solid walls, but I'm going to lighten my load here and finish putting these up and then I'll show you what I mean with the catwalks. All right guys, so I got the last two layers of little bird cage up. So this is what I meant by the catwalks. I thought we could stick those on and they could look like little uh, perches. And I don't think I'm gonna bother putting like doors on this or anything. Cause like I said, this is a free range bird cage. They can come and go as they please. So I thought if we put catwalks on all of the little openings that I put in, So I think I probably I'm gonna need some more too, but it's hard to get them from inside. So I think that's in the right spot. There we go. Yeah, something like that all the way around. I think I'm gonna leave. I don't know if I'll, I'll I might as well take this door off too. Well, I'll take it off after. It doesn't matter. Um. So yeah, I think I'll just go around and put all these little perches on. And then I'll meet you when I get back around to the beginning. All right, I'm just doing a last little check. It looks like I have all the catwalks on. And I went ahead and changed the railings on the top here to the full walls. Yeah, it's coming together nicely, I think. So 
now we can put the sloped pieces on, I think. Hopefully I have enough of all these to go around. I should. And of course it's getting dark out. All right, guys, it is getting dark. You're not going to be able to see anything, but I'm just finishing up this roof. Almost got all the pieces in. I think I'm going to need, I think I'm going to be short one, actually. I wonder if the bird has any more. Oh, good. Okay, so I'll bring you guys back. Ooh. <gasps> oh, geez, I almost fell off the roof. Again, I did not mean to jump off my bird. But I'll bring you guys back um, at when it's light time, and then we will put the ch try and put the chain on, because that will be sort of the final touch. But well, the feather lights actually give me a little bit of light. But yeah, I think that looks like a little bird, a bird house or a bird cage or whatever you want to call it. It could be both actually. But I think it fits the theme of the big tree anyway. So I'll bring you guys back when it's light again. All right, guys, I'm just, I just finished building a couple more railings because I decided to put um, some thatch railings around this bottom part here. I'm really having a hard time controlling this bird today. Okay, land. Thank you. Oh, don't fall off. Oh my gosh, that's Okay, so I was just missing some railings right here. If I can get out of here without falling over the edge. So, let's see here. These should be the last two that I need. And I went up top to see, because the last thing we have to do here is try to get this um, anchor point for this anchor chain. And I was building myself some scaffolding and as luck would have it, I this ceiling went in at the wrong spot, but I think it could be close, really close to where we need that ceiling to be for the anchor. So I thought maybe we could, tr oh, we could try it, but I'm wondering if it's, hmm, I think it's, a little bit too far over. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work because we need it to be right at the tip of that triangle. So I'm probably going to have to fight with this a little bit to get the right spot. And it's just going to be a matter of just placing the foundation over and over again until I, until I get it. Because basically the... The anchor is going to want to attach right in the middle of the ceiling like on this oops on the side i'll show you if i could just stop this bird okay so oh my gosh it's so so hard you know what i'm just gonna make some more scaffolding so i can get in there and actually oh my gosh and have a look at this. Okay, I'm gonna try <laughs> and jump down there. Maybe I'll use my grapple. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so this is the one that was in the wrong spot. So where we need this anchor to attach is right on the corner of this triangle piece. And uh, I don't know if you can see. Let's just pick up this wood wall. So it wants to attach to the middle. Not the middle of the whole ceiling, but the middle of the edge. So we need it to attach right there. So I'm gonna have to fiddle it with the foundations and get something that's really close to that point. So I'm gonna do that and I will be back. You guys, I got it oh so close. It's like almost right at the tip. So, uh, I'm probably going to end up fiddling with it more, but I'm going to show you what this guy, what this is going to look like at least. So, let's, um, I'm just going to, oh, there's a wall down there too. 
So I'm gonna grab some of these anchors and I think it's, by the time we get down there, it's probably not gonna be good enough, but I'm gonna try it, let's see. Um, I'm just trying to think if maybe grappling would be the easiest way to get this chain to go all the way down. I mean, the bird might work, but I'm going to leave that scaffolding up. I thought just the uh, chain anchor attached to the side, but I guess these all these chains do too. Okay, this is going to be the real test to see how how close it is. Just a couple more chains and I think we're almost there. Let's see. I should be able to land now and finish the rest. I know it's going to be off a little bit and it's going to drive me crazy and I'll have to fix it. But, but at least you'll get an idea of what it's supposed to look like. It should be pretty close. Yeah, it is. It's just that tiny little bit off. Ah, oh, just so, so close. Oh, well. Okay, anyway, it's hanging from a chain is the idea. Yeah, it's really close. I mean, you can only tell from certain angles, but anyway, that's kind of the idea that I was going after is to have sort of a bird cage hanging from the branch and of course I would hide the frames of that so it looks like um, the chain is attached to the tree is kind of my was kind of my goal too so I'm probably going to play with this and try to get it a little bit better because by the time I remove all those frames then it's going to look like it's sort of they'll be close it's really close to the tree but not quite Anyway, guys, that is the birdcage. I think it turned out really cute. I like it. And, oops. It's not the easiest to land on. But I have my first birdcage guest. There you go. Got a new home there, buddy. This is a huge bird cage. I'm gonna have to get some bigger birds. Anyway, this guy is gonna live in here now. It'd be cool if I could get them actually thrown up on the um, on the catwalks there to make it look like they are perched up there, but we'll work on that. Oh, I just threw the feather light over the edge oh no oh no where did he go are you down here buddy oh no should be up here somewhere oh there he is oh my gosh sorry about that little guy <laughs> I thought he would like at least fly or something. Anyway, guys, that is it. That is our little birdcage done. We got a little feather light out on the perch already. We just need a few more to place here and there. So I'll have to go and scour the redwoods for some more. But that's the first part of our treehouse build complete. So now we can move on to the next thing. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys all next time. Bye.